Hello and welcome to today's session. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to enable login through social networks without a username or a password. In other words, you're going to learn how to remove the username and password option on your Moodle site. This is kind of dangerous in many instances because as the admin, you won't be able to log in. But what I do is I keep my tablet as well as my mobile phone with uh, the uh, theme boost so that in case I get locked out or one of the social networks that I use doesn't work, I can always log in as the admin that way and fix things. So this is how it's done. First thing, let's log in at the top right. So you can see what the logins look like with the social networks that I have added. There is the username and password that I use for my admin. But everybody else uses one of these social networks. And they are Google, Facebook, Microsoft, LinkedIn, or Yahoo. You can add more, of course, but that's up to you. These are the ones that I currently have. Users can, of course, also log in as a guest, but then they won't be able to do very much except view what you allow them to view. So let's log in with my Google over here. Wait a few seconds. Going to log in as the admin. And I'm in. Next, I'm going to go into the admin. So I can go into appearance. There we are. In this case, because the screen is really large, the font is large. Going to go into site administration under here. This, of course, will depend on your screen. If it's large, it'll go under more. If it's uh, not, if the font isn't large, you'll find it at the top here. Next, I'm going to go under set administration. In this case, I want to go into theme. So I'm just going to write down theme. Actually, it's theme selector. There we are. I can always go to the top here and do it this way. It doesn't really matter whichever works for you. And then under theme, I'll be able to get the selector. Okay, under theme, these are the ones that are available. Let me scroll down until I get to selector. As I said, your screen might look different because right now the font is really large, which makes things a bit different, but that's okay. We still have the same features. This is Moodle 4.1 and the theme is move. Notice there is a theme I'm going to scroll down until I get to let me scroll down into mobile. Notice my mobile is boost which is the default theme for moodle 4 and for moodle in general okay as well as for the tablet okay it's boost all right so let's go into move now that i know what my theme is going to go into back into theme but this time i'm going to go into move under theme Okay, so let's scroll down until we get to move. Notice I've got a few things here. I'm using move right now because I'm using 4.1 and advisor is not compatible, but when it is, I'll be back on advisor MUI. Click on move. Wait a few seconds until it comes up. And then I'm going to go into advanced. This is uh, not only for move, but it, for any theme. It works for every single theme. You just need to add the CSS or SCSS. What we're looking for is no login form. And this is, I will share this in the description of this video so you can add it. But remember my caution, remember to be careful because you still need your username and password for the admin.
So make sure that you keep something open. It could be either be mobile, tablet, or legacy, if that means anything to you. So there we are. We can also add it here to the no login. Actually, I prefer to add it here. So let me add it here and remove it from here. Okay, and then save. There we are. Now you'll see what it looks like. I'm going to log out so you get a chance to see it. This is for admin. If you're not an admin of a Moodle site, I highly recommend it. It'll change your life. So if you're a teacher, an educator, or someone who's got a business and wants to provide tutorials or professional development, this is a great idea to be an admin of a Moodle site. And here we are. Now I'm going to log out. My log out will be available here. This is move. Click on that and then log out. Now notice what happens when I want to log back in. If you like this video and you want to know more about Moodle and admin and what you can do online, ask. So there it is. Now I don't see the username or password form at all. All I see is this. Let me log back in. There we go. And everything works. Have a great day and happy Moodling.